Well, let anybody tell you that Israeli politics is boring. It's it's always uh, unexpected. Um, as of last night, we're all pretty convinced that this government would continue for a very long time indeed, and it may not. Um, there are several paths forward. The opposition can uh, vote to um, to disperse with, with, with Knesset to call a new round of elections. It can try to create a right-wing government, a coalition within the current Knesset. And that means bringing over uh, probably three members of the Amina party, a uh, uh, member of Knesset, uh, Selman plus Orbach and Shikli, to bring them as a separate faction uh, within a new uh, goal, governing coalition. I can wait a year uh, for the budget to come up for an extra vote. And if the budget fails to pass, that would bring the government down. Uh, but there are several paths. And this, um, I'm always recalled of a very important adage, which is that no one should ever prematurely uh, eulogize Benjamin Netanyahu. Yeah. Because um, the conventional wisdom was that he was you know, finished politically. Uh, he's very much in the game today. And Moshe, what are your take on things here? Well, I'm very sad for what Edith Silman did. I was talking to her the other day. And I know she was upset about a few things, but, you know, leaving it all and going for some kind of promise, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu has failed many before her. I think it won't pay her, and I think it's bad for the state of Israel. I mean, we've had four elections in three years, and Israel needs stability. We passed a, a budget just half a year ago. You know, the, the offices are working. A lot of reforms are happening. We were looking forward to our next budget, and I think... The main loser of this uh, day is the state of Israel. I mean, uh, when I saw your promo, we're talking about very tough times, security rise. We were doing very well. And, they, you know, um, we're bringing in the Arab countries to Israel just last week. I think a lot of good things have happened with this government. Having a right and left wing parties work, working together, Arab and, and Jewish uh, um, MK is doing good things. I'm quite disappointed that they did Silman's decision. And I do think we're heading a few months of um, this uh, stability until things, you know, straighten out. Yeah, it certainly sounds that way. And, you know, Michael, uh, Mr. Oren, tell me what, in your opinion, are the possible scenarios we could see in these next couple of months? Well, I think of the members of the current coalition, um, there are several uh, heads of parties who simply refuse to sit with Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, but there's one, uh, Benny Gantz of Blue and White, who I believe is still in play. And if Netanyahu were to offer Benny Gantz the position of prime minister first in a rotation, uh, I think he'd take it. Um, and he would join, say, with the ultra-Orthodox parties, with the other right-wing parties that are not in this coalition, um, and could make put together a government, could cobble together a government. Uh, in any case, Netanyahu will now work very robustly to try to, you know, wean away other members of the coalition so he can make uh, a majority, perhaps without going to elections. But according to the polls, he, he's quite ahead. He's still the most uh, popular politician in this country uh, by a significant margin, the person who most Israelis believe um, or the majority of Israelis believes that that is, is most um, competent to be prime minister. So he would be politically placed. His big problem is that people don't want to sit with him. People who have uh, deep grudges against him, like Naftali Bennett, like Gidon Saar. But Benny Gantz, though he has grudges against uh, Benjamin Zial, who has grudges against also against Bennett and, and Lapid. And I think he is still in play as a possible coalition partner for Netanyahu. And, you know, Moshe, I'll come back to you now. You know, people here in Israel are simply exhausted from all of these political campaigns, from having to go to the polls time and time again. You know, how important is it that, you know, these various political parties try and avoid another round of elections? I think that uh, as long as Netanyahu is leading the Likud, there's no coalition for the right wing because um, there are parties and there are people in the Israeli politics that don't have stopped believing in Netanyahu. I'm actually quite mm. surprised that Ibit Silman uh, sign, takes any check from Netanyahu who has, you know, uh, failed many of politicians that are still in politics today and gave them his word, including Benny Gantz, and, you know, has shown uh, not to be a reliable person. So I don't really think, I think as long as Netanyahu is the leader of the Likud, we're either holding another year at least of this coalition or we're going to elections because I don't see any way he will build, he will for, form a new government. And br really briefly, Mr. Oren, you know, we're going out for a short break in just a minute. 
What can we expect the reaction from Israelis to be like if another round of elections is called? Well, here I'm going to agree with my friend Moshe and say that it's a sad day for the state of Israel. Uh, the, the move by Member Knesset uh, Stillman is, is perceived as, as very cynical, uh, taking, exam, taking advantage of a, of a very minor issue, uh, the notion of bringing in non-kosher food to hospitals uh, during Passover, which can't be monitored anyway. And of course, a large percentage of the, of the patients of people visiting them are not Jewish. Uh, how would actually would that be monitored? Um, it, it, it seems like simply a pretext uh, for breaking away of the coalition uh, by a part of that coalition right. whose popularity was plummeting. Uh, so yes. very, it, it, it will not yes. enhance the image of Israeli politicians among the public.